is the function one to one. We have f of x equal to the absolute value of x. Let's work through this solution. So we'll start by doing a rough draft of the absolute value of x, just a quick graph here. So this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So we have x and we have y. And just remember that the absolute value function always looks like a v. So it's going to look something like this. And it looks like a v like that. If you wanted to find exact ordered pairs, it'd be really easy. Plug in numbers, for example, f of 0 equals 0, because the absolute value of 0 is 0. f of 1 is the absolute value of 1, which is 1. f of negative 1 is the absolute value of negative 1, which is also 1. This gives you three ordered pairs, 0, comma, 0, that comes from this, this one, and then 1, comma, 1, that's going to be here, and then negative 1, comma, 1, that's going to be over here. So this is negative 1 and 1 and 1, and these would be our three ordered pairs coming from these equations here. So is the function 1 to 1? Well, if you can find just one horizontal line that crosses uh, more than once, then the answer is no, it is not. So a uh, one-to-one -one function would look something like this, so that no matter how many horizontal lines you draw, it'll never cross more than once. But if you can find one that crosses, then it's not one-to-one. -one. In this case, you'll never be able to find one. So this function is actually one-to-one, -one, because you can never find a horizontal line that crosses more than once. Whereas here, um, as long as you can find one, the answer is no. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.